sure you love lobster. Mmm, <laughs> sweet. Okay, it's St. Patrick's Day. I'm here with some great recipes. Is Chef Ed McFarlane. Yeah. How you doing, Chef? How you doing? <laughs> I've been to your place before. Excellent. I had no idea. And people rave about it. It's big here in Manhattan. All right. What are we making, chef? So we're making <gasps> a lobster shepherd's pie just to take on a traditional dish, but sprucing it up. Ireland abounds with seafood, so plenty of culinary license. And we're gonna make Irish soda bread to finish it off. I like that you put it in a lobster. You know what, the presentation really spices it look. up. and makes it look nicer than just putting in a crock. So just a little bit more elevation. And we start the dish with some butter. How dare you hot sauce, not today. No. <laughs> Well, that must mean it's good then. If it's very hot good. Sauce. Okay. <laughs> Keep talking, so, chef. We start by sweating the shallots. Get them soft. We're gonna I add in our, mm -hmm. our lobster, our pernod, just to get a little anise flavor. Are it, these... all, it all cooks off. It's just about the flavor. It's are these peas, peas? Those are peas, yes. What is pernod? Pernod is just anise flavored liqueur. Okay. It cooks off in the, uh, in the process. And mm. it's just about flavor, very classic, traditional dish. I'm so mixed up right now. We add a little bit more butter back in there because you have to have a lot of butter with lobster. Yeah. Well. So. Although I gotta tell you something. I, only because I'm always watching my weight so I don't I break my chair. <laughs> I, um, I like the salt and pepper and a little yep. garlic on it. You know, that's a great way the to do it The butter well. interrupts and gets stains on my clothing. We do lobster any single way. But you no, want. I'm dipping better today. I mean, if you want to come down and have lobster Benedict, we can make your lobster Benedict for brunch, which is fantastic as mm. well. Not so much a St. Patty's Day item like this, but it still works. So we fill our lobster shell up with the lobster, you know, nice and full in there. When did your restaurant open? We opened up one year, one day ago, 14 years. So I'm open 14 years yesterday. How are, how are you doing? <clears throat> how, how's the business going? You know, it's been kind of all over the place, but we're managing, you know, with the COVID restrictions in New York City being what they are, mm -hmm. we uh, figure out a way to get things done. So, you know, we switched over, we pivot the business, take Are you, are you gonna have green delivery. beer? Uh, I will not have green beer it's or okay. green lobster, but I do have Guinness. Oh, whoa, and, that's um, okay. So you can't go wrong. Yeah. We sprinkle a little bit of breadcrumb on top of the lobster before we bake them. What do we put on top? A little bit of breadcrumb. Okay just to get a little extra color. You know what else I like? I love capers. I find that they well, are- capers, just the, uh, oh my the salt in the capers is fantastic. Mm. It really brings everything up. A little bit of parsley on top. The potatoes, by the way, are stellar. They are not from the box, clearly. No, you have, to, you have to make fresh potatoes always. So onto the soda bread, which is a very simple recipe, but super sticky when you mix it, so be careful. You wanna get all of your dry ingredients be together over. in the bowl and Whisk them in okay. super simply and make a well in the center. My mom, on St. Patrick's Day, along with the corned beef and cabbage, would make a really mean Irish soda bread. Wow. Mm. Well, it's important. You have to have a great soda bread on St. Patrick's Day. You can't, mm. can't do without it. I don't need the butter. It's so no, good. Perfect. Mm. That's excellent. Mm. And once we have it in the bowl, we just score the top before we put it in the oven. It you know what I like it. about it? It's kind of like a dessert. Yes. A little, I'm sorry, continue. No, it's okay. The... It's meant to be a dessert. That's the whole idea of soda bread, a little sweet after your meal. Yeah, tell them what you do to so, score. So we score the top of the soda bread with a crisscross and we bake it for about 45 minutes at 400 degrees. And it comes out to this beautiful crusty consistency and nice and soft inside. I want to thank you for being here. Well, thank you so much. I'm very excited and grateful to be here today. And, and the, the food is delicious. For more information on these recipes, and they seem pretty easy to make. Super simple. Everything and remember, so presentation simple. is everything. Maybe you'll save your piece of lobster, you know, present. Go to wendyshow.com.